thing. This PowerPoint presentation is all about anti atoms. What is an anti atom? An anti atom is basically the complete opposite of an atom. They have a lot, and I mean a lot of energy, like atoms do. They are bigger than atoms, only in a few cases. Uh, like, we are going to learn about this in the Big Bang, like a video about the Big Bang, because it was actually created by anti atoms the size of footballs. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Awesome, right? Moving on. This is about anti atomic structure. So, anti atoms basically have anti particles. Like for example, atoms are subatomic particles. This has, yeah, you know, sub-anti-atomic particles. Right or wrong? It's right. In which the nucleus of these anti-atoms contain anti-protons with orbiting positrons. In the case of atoms, the electrons surround the protons. In the anti-atoms case, it is different. Yeah, and as I said, very, very strange structure. Take a moment to study these pictures. Here. Alright, moving on. Antimatter. This is way, way cooler than atomic matter. It is com uh, it's composed of anti uh, particles, anti atoms form anti particles. Antimatter consists of things like anti hydrogen, anti helium, anti nitrogen, who knows, etc. etc. You have to put a mark which is like this, this line as you can see, on the anti atomic chemical symbol. For example, you can see hydrogen, put that line on it, it becomes anti hydrogen. As you can see here. Anti-atomic energy. Anti-atoms release a lot of energy as I said at the start of the slide. They release this energy by annihilation and pair production. As you can see in the diagrams, antimatter particles collide and they release this massive amount of combined energy. This energy is very very different from atomic energy, that's for sure. Who discovered anti-atoms? Yes, by the This is me from one year in the future because I had recorded the rest of the presentation one year ago. Regardless, who discovered anti-atoms? So basically, in a lab, an electron was found. But when it was tested to see if it was actually an electron, it had a positive charge. It was a so-called positive electron, dubbed as the positron. This discovery was made by Nobel Prize winning Carl D. Anderson. So basically, electrons under So basically, to test out subatomic particles to see what kind of charge they have, they are run through a special machine. But this machine has showed that something which behaves like an electron has a positive charge. This was actually the positron or the first discovery of antimatter. So thank you all for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, a comment and please subscribe to the scientific